Okay, here's five of five. But I think it's going to be at least seven. Um, as I said, they don't provide you with anything. Uh, I never received a lunch to, when I, since I've been there in six days. And the thing is, you don't get good sleep because with people coming through your area, going in and out the door to smoke cigarettes, or, or the guys would knock on the door. My bed is right there. Or they'd ask the, one of the, the, the girls in the bed, do you have a cigarette? So it was constant traffic. You know, something like, that's not a bedroom. And uh, Miss Davis didn't show up, the mom, did not show up the other day, that next day to take me to the public aid or what you call the, the Department of Human Services to get me on. Medicaid. So I asked her daughter, I said, well, your mom, she said, she won't be here till Monday. Monday come around. She doesn't show up. She doesn't call. Well, as I said, these people are breaking their money. They don't even have uh, like a pamphlet or anything with the name of the, their uh, shelters. No pamphlets, nothing. Don't give you animation, animation, information, excuse me. No um, rules, no nothing. Nothing with an address or the name of their organization. No, their company or their shelters. But like I said, I had no intention of saying, but the rudeness and the attitude of them things, I couldn't say long anyway. And, uh, and, and then I go in the bathroom, and I see they trying to injure me or take my life. I'm going to load that video up last. Um, I go two days ago, and I tell um, Dee, who is the one who's supposed to be the, the maintenance, to, to run the place to serve the breakfast and the dinner, the cereal most of the time, as I say. Um, when I bought that breakfast, he told me I had a pack of bacon lab, some sausage, the biscuits, uh, like I said, I bought a pound of butter and two thin cream cheese, which I know he didn't use. So, I said, uh, D, I would like to have some, uh, bacon in the morning. I want breakfast. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put it in an oven because they cook my food really, really hard because they know I don't have any teeth. So I was going to, I told you, I'm going to show you how to make the bacon in an oven where it's not hard and it doesn't. So he said, well, I'll come get you in the morning so you can show me how to do it. So the next morning he comes get me and the bacon's already cooked. It's cooking. It hadn't finished cooking. He also had cooked my sausage, and he cooked all my other food. And I asked him, he said, well, I'm making breakfast for everybody. How did you take my food and make breakfast for everybody? Now, they tell you to leave your food in the kitchen. When you food supplies, you have to leave it in their uh, kitchen. They got a little area for the uh, People that say their food. And you have cooked all my bacon, all my sausages, making pancakes for everybody without my permission. So I knew the other day, yesterday, I had to get out of there. Because number one, they taking my money when I sent them to the store, spent over $10. Now you've cooked all my food up. I'm going to end this and make number six.